And yes, you know, sometimes we feel really terrified right before presentation or about to get in front of a camera. Sometimes we, feel, we wish that, you know, the presentation get canceled so that you don't have to speak in front of others. And all of this reaction may seem familiar to you if you have ever experienced the fright or public speaking. As terrifying as stage fright or public speaking could be, communicating your ideas clearly and presenting them openly in a public forum is an important element if you want to be successful across a certain part of your life. Public speaking can help you advance your career, grow your businesses, promote your ideas and motivate people to take action on issues that affect them directly or the society as a whole. It can present you as a leader or an influencer. And that is speaking in a conference, a small meeting, or doing an interview for TV or YouTube or Facebook videos are all form of public speaking or stage. And sometimes the only thing that stands between you and a successful, successful presentation or a talk or video is a fear of public speaking or otherwise called stage fright. In order to know how to get over the fear of public speaking or stage fright, you should first you know, know what causes it. These are the 10 biggest reasons causing this fear and how you can overcome them immediately. But the truth to be said, that overcoming the fear won't make you instantly a great speaker. So I divided this topic into three parts. In the part two video, I will share with you tips and techniques to turn you into a great public speaker. And in the part three video, how you can master standing in front of a camera. So subscribe now by pressing the subscribe button and also the bell next to it, not to miss the next couple of videos. Reason one, self-awareness in front of a large group or a camera. This is the most frequently named reason for fear of public speaking. You know, poor people often say, I am fine talking to a small group, but when it comes to a larger audience, I get really nervous. Or I don't like the camera pointing right at me. I am good behind the camera than in front. One, remember that people in a big audiences are the same ones you talk to individually. And second, consider camera as your friend you are chatting to. And third, concentrate on just talking to them, not presenting. You will be at your best. So reason number two, fear of appearing nervous. It is easy to believe that if the audience sees those nerves, they will think that you don't know your topic. But of course, the two aren't linked. When you see that a speaker is nervous, don't you sympathize, rather than making a judgment on that person's professionalism. If you are not expert on the subject, you won't be invited to speak in the first place. If anything, your audience will stand you sympathy, no resistance. Reason free, concern that others are judging you. You know, the truth is that people really don't care about you. They are in the audience to get something out of your talk, your presentation, your video, or your speech. They want their time to be well spent. You now, watching a speaker fail is embarrassing for everyone. So the audience is actually pulling for you. Reason four, past failures. Fear of public speaking is often learned uh, behavior. That is, at some point in the past you fail or seen someone fail, and the seed of self-doubt was planted on you. But if you know your staff and are prepared this time, there's no reason for things to go wrong like they did in the past but only if you insist that will happen and believe it, 
then it will happen. Plan to succeed, not wait to fail. Reason number five, poor or insufficient preparation. There's no reason for you to succeed if you haven't done your homework. Blame nobody but yourself. Nothing undermines public speaking, confidence like being unprepared. But nothing gives you as much confidence as being ready, prepared, and to go. The choice is yours. Reason number six. It is not about you. There is the toughest, honest message that I give to you. With fear of public speaking, indulging in extreme self-consciousness while speaking is narcissistic. How can you influence others if you are totally wrapped up in yourself? You can. So turn that bright spotlight around you and illuminate your listener or your viewers or your audience. You really don't matter. They do. Reason number seven, no having the skin. Okay, I mean, this is a leg legitimate concern, but it is also one of the easiest of my top 10 causes to rectify. You should feel dissatisfied if your speaking skills are not great. But this satisfaction can be an excellent drive. Get the public speaking training you've been talking about. No, just knowing you have first rate skill can provide you with a lot of confidence. It is also much more likely to make you eager to speak more. Reason number eight. No happy with your own image. Why is that we are all at ease physically with friends and family and loved ones, but self-conscious and awkward in front of an audience? If that's you, look at reason number six, yeah? It is not about you. That should help you relax into your body. Also pay attention to how you stand, sit, gesture, and move when you are in a comfortable environment. Then you recreate that natural movement with a larger audience. Reason number nine, belief. Another factor involves your belief about public speaking or stage and about yourself as a speaker or presenter. You know, the fear often arises when you overestimate the stake of communicating your ideas in front of others, viewing the speaking event as a potential threat to your credibility and your image. Negative views of oneself as a speaker, I'm not good at speaking in front of people, I'm not good at public speaking, I'm boring, I don't look good in front of the camera, I don't like my voice, etc., and etc., can also raise anxiety and augment the fear of public speaking. There are two types of people fearful of public speaking. You may recognize yourself in one of them. Type one, you view public speaking as a something that requires special skills, and you see the role of audiences as judges, who are judging how good of a presenter you are. Type two, you view public speaking, main focus is an, ex an expression of your ideas, presenting information or telling your story. For this type of people, the objective is to get through to your audience the same way you get through to people during everyday conversation. Think about this in reverse. If you view any conversation that you have in the presence of another person as a form of public speaking, you have enough evidence that you can express yourself clearly and communicate effectively. You would then take the same approach to public speaking event, where the focus is simply on sharing ideas and information. However, when the focus shifts from being heard and understood to being evaluated, the anxiety tends to be higher. Reason number 10, comparing yourself to others. Don't do it. Your job is never to be the greatest speaker or presenter ever. It is to be interesting when you discuss your topic or your passion. That's what it is. The real good news is that no one in this entire universe can do that as well as you, because you are the person to tell us about it. Truly, you are the one we can to hear or we turn we press the play 
to watch. Whatever you do in this life has the potential of you getting embarrassed, getting humiliated, getting judged, be afraid. Who's not? As they say, feel the fear and do it anyway. In the next video, we will explore tips and techniques to become a great speaker. You know, like your heroes, people that you admire. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and God bless you. See you next time.